Eamon Khan here for seconds out with Zach Parker. Zach, how are you doing? Yeah, back, back. <laughs> Been a long time, but yeah, good to be around the boxing scene again and uh, hopefully I'll get a fight lined up soon. Been itching to get back. It's, it's been a while. Um, have you got that, not that ever left, but that feeling to get back in the ring very soon? That's it, yeah. Back in training properly now, full time. Um, obviously, my hands hands perfect now. It's like, I've done all my physio and nothing on it, so it's really strong. Yeah, got got like a little metal plate, so it's like a little knuckle, knuckle duster, isn't it? So I feel you using that people. <laughs> How long did it take for the hand to recover? What was that process like? Yeah, it's just frustrating, obviously being injured and that. But um, you can't really, you can't really do enough about it in, in boxing. In any sport, you get injured. So, yeah. But now I'm on the road. I'm on the road to coming back. So hopefully get a date soon. Uh, obviously waiting on um, Frank and order at Queensbury. Uh, just waiting on a date and then hopefully we'll head maybe September time. I reckon. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, in terms of that process of getting the hand back to 100% or a new 100% as it is, was there ever a point where you had to kind of overcome the confidence of like throwing the hand again and overcome that barrier to get back to 100%? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Um, obviously, when I've done all my physio and that, I know it's strong. At first, you, just, you have to tap with it. Um, doctors say you have to tap with it, but then that's a bit. After, like, now, I'm, even in Swar and Effin, it's perfect. Um, stronger than what it was before. Um, but yeah, at first it was obviously a bit wary. You don't want to, you don't want to get injured again. So yeah, but it's all, it's all perfect now. Let's get back to when we last saw you in the ring against John Ryder. Look, obviously it didn't go your way that night because of the injury. Um, how do you assess that night? Yeah, I didn't really watch it back much. Um, it was, it happened so quick. It's only like four rounds. You couldn't really take nothing off it, nothing off the fight. Um, hopefully, get some big fights this year and then. Aim for the top top guys again. Um, obviously, the likes of John Ryder, Celeb Plan, Benavidez. Uh, but just get, need to get need to get busy again. I've been out of the ring for a long time, and uh, hopefully, get some fights this year. A lot of people like to point fingers and say things after fights, and don't really understand the full nature of the injuries and, and things which stop fighters from fighting. I don't think you quite got a lot of stick for it, which I think maybe box, uh, the boxing public understood what happened there. Do you feel that was kind of the action for the boxing public? Yeah, I don't really, I don't really take any notice of like social media and that. Um, it's, it's like you can, there's always someone on there that's going to say something, isn't it? Twitter's, Twitter's probably the worst one. Instagram, that ain't too bad, but yeah, Twitter's a lot of trolls on there, but it don't really matter to me. Um, social media is just a tool of getting your name out of, and obviously getting your name out of to all your fans as well. So that, it's good to have people behind you and. Uh, Especially when you take a loss, you know you know who's really out for you. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But it's good. It's good that I'm coming back now, and uh, I'll be a bit more active on social media. In recent times, we've been talking about you against the likes of potentially Andrade. Obviously, you had the Ryder fight. These are big names in the sphere. What sort of fight do you want to come back to? Yeah, obviously, last year was a bit frustrating. I'd done Andrade fight, and uh, it was messing me about pulling out. I think that's probably added into the John Ryder fight. I was inactive for like almost a year because I was waiting around for him. But yeah, I want to I come back for, I, I think I want to come back for about some sort of belt, uh, maybe WBO, some, some some version of that, and then get one fight out of the way and then aim, aim for the big big lads again. Um, I've, I've done all, all my learning fights already. I'm not, I'm not here to, I'm 29 now, I want to push on a bit. Um, get one, get get the ring rust off and then we'll aim for big fights at the end of the year. Any names on your hit list in particular? Not at the minute, I just want a date first. And then once I get a date, we can aim from there. But obviously the big boys there, Celeb Plan, Benavidez, these sort of guys, you know what I mean? I think Canelo's boxing Charlo, but um, I reckon he'll probably want to move up, try and box Pivot. But no point thinking think about it. I need, to get, I need to get out of there again, get a couple of wins, and then we'll aim, aim for them big lads in the future. Any interest in all in the Heffron Cullen winner, or do you feel you're level above that? What's that? Interest in the Heffron Cullen winner? Yeah, I, I think we offered the Heffron fight. Um, we offered him the Heffron fight, but obviously he's gone his own way to Sky Sports and that. So, but it's always there in the future. Uh, if you get through Jack Cullen, I'll have that one next. You mentioned you know, the likes of Keller Plant and such. There was a wild moment last night over in America where Keller Plant slapped at Charlo, which was absolutely crazy. Just your reaction to that moment. Yeah, give him a good slap, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, was, he caught him well to fair, but I'm surprised, I'm surprised Charlie didn't go back in, really. It was a bit, bit of a weird situation. I don't know what it was about. Obviously, a bit of, obviously giving each other verbals, but yeah. I'm surprised he didn't go back in. I thought Charlie's always like big lads, you know what I mean? But I'd had him over there.
Yeah, it's a crazy situation, but uh, what do you think? Uh, look at the top of the tree fights that you be, you were looking through uh, in your trajectory, the likes of Canelo versus Charlo. How do you feel that fight will will play out? Uh, I think he's coming up weight, and he's yeah. Charlo. So I think Canelo is just is built for. Um, he's like he's gone into this weight. Is this is his weight in a minute? Charlo's coming up. He he don't know what the super middleweight's like. So I think Canelo will probably beat him. I think he'll be. I think he'll be a good fighter. Charlo's, Charlo's a good fighter, you know what I mean? So, it's have to wait and see, isn't it? The consequence of your defeat meant that John Ryder could go on and face uh, Canelo. John Ryder put in his best effort, but was beaten by Canelo. What did you think of that fight? Yeah, it's, um, it, did, it, did, it made a good count for itself. Obviously, went all full 12 as well against one, one, one of the best best about at the minute in Canelo. So, yeah, um, did, he did well to fair, but obviously, didn't come out with a victory, did he? Um, Keller Plant versus Benavidez. Keller Plant obviously on the losing effort of that one, but a real good effort from from Caleb too. Yeah, I see. Yeah, it was good. It was a good fight. Almost I watched. I watched highlights of it. Benavidez is is, 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 is is I think he's the top guy at the minute. It's super midweight. Obviously you've got Canelo. He's the biggest name, but I think I don't know if Canelo is running a bit from him. But um, yeah, I think I think Benavidez is one to, one to uh, like maybe beat Canelo next. Do you feel that when you get there, that Canelo will still be around at the top of the tree and you might get your opportunity at him? Well, just have to see. I just need to get out there again first. Um, not thinking about his big fights yet. I just want to get get the ring rust off and then towards the end of the year, I'll start next year. Big fights and uh, no waiting around after. We'll get this one fight out of the way and then we'll go go from there. Do you feel like the Derby Stadium uh, is still available in the future? Yeah, 100%. That's, that's the aim, isn't it? Get some big fights in Derby. We ain't had, we ain't had some massive fights in Derby in ages. Obviously, you got Sandy Ryan yeah. just won a world title, and hopefully, we could uh, probably um, get a big card in Prague Park. Get us both on it. Happy to still have that faith from Queensbury as well, because sometimes all the promotions, when a fighter has their first defeat, they might, you know, uh, might not be as aligned to them as they were before. But you seem to have that faith and backing still. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Obviously, like you said, it weren't like a proper loss. It was, a, it was an injury. It happens in boxing. All I've got to do is come back and uh, go again now. So I'll show, obviously, show everyone what I'm what I'm really about. Um, that, like I said, you know, it's really back behind you when you take a little 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 step back like this. But yeah, I feel, I feel like we're me and Queen, me and Queensbury are in like good terms now, and uh, hopefully we'll get a big fight at the end of the year. Exactly. Looking forward to seeing it happen. Thanks for speaking to Texas out. So all the best. Good man.